Hi, hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're gonna to be doing my April empties. And as you guys know, I do this every month. There's gonna be a playlist down below if you wanna catch up on my past ones. But basically I go and I put all my empties in this little bag that I got at Five Below. And at the end of the month, at the beginning of the month actually, uh, we go through everything that I finished up and we have a conversation about it. So if that interests you, just keep on watching. This has become a tradition on my channel, but we always start off with chapstick. <laughs> so this is a chapstick in candy cane. I have a bunch of these because um, a couple weeks ago we went to Big Lots and it was like when everyone was like crazy and buying all the water and toilet paper. And now I feel like it's a little less crazy. And um, I remember I saw like a big pack of these and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna take them. Like I. My lips are so, so dry. And um, the other day I was cleaning my room. So I, I think I mentioned in a different video, but I cleaned my entire room. And you know, you don't have time to keep applying chapstick because I was like, once I'm in the zone, like I'm in it. And I didn't put any chapstick on. Oh my God, I'm still feeling the effects of not putting chapstick that whole day. Like my lips are so dry. Thankfully, I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing a gloss because... Uh, so this is the one in candy cane and I have several of these. So you guys are going to be seeing those across these videos in the future but I did finish one of them this month and these do retail for $1.99 I did want to say like compared to like the cherry version or like that blue one I feel like this one's a little more on the drier side kind of like the blue chapstick that I was talking about that's not my favorite I'd rather get the cherry one I just love that one that's like my top one so this one's like in the middle of the blue and the cherry I would say it's okay it's not the best but it, it did the job so yeah the next things that I mentioned are some lipsticks and if you guys watch my lipstick collection I feel like I'm always mentioning that video but I say I talk about a lot of important things in there so if you want to watch it it's gonna be down below so I had a project pan going on for my lipsticks and I just decided not to do it anymore especially because you know a lot of things change we're not going I'm not going to work every day anymore I'm not putting makeup every single day I'm not using the same things every single day so I just put a stop to it but I did finish three lipsticks the first one is this one by bite beauty and it's a mini lipstick and this one's in the shade chai it was a cute color it was a cute shade and that is it right there. I did finish it fully. This was like for the month of January. And this one retails for $6.50, I believe, like the full size. That's the first one I finished. For February, I had chosen this um, LA Girl lipstick. And this is the Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick. And this one's in the shade... Uh, what shade are you in? I never know what shade this is. I believe it was electric. Electric pink or something. And it was okay. I struggled with this one. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, I had put like help, please send like tips on how to use it. I just, I thought I wasn't going to finish it up. And um, yeah, I finished it. That's it right there. Super bright pink. I thought it was going to be easy to use because of Valentine's Day. It still wasn't. It was just super bright. And I just don't like really, really like loud, crazy, like pink, especially lips on me. And yeah, I don't know. And so, I, but I finished it, which is amazing. And these do retail for $5. The next one here is by Frida Kahlo. And this is one that I bought at my local CVS. And this is really cute packaging. And yeah, I bought it because I, I like Frida Kahlo. I have like a necklace of Frida Kahlo. I really, I just love like the aesthetic of her. And it has like the little signature right there. And this is in the shade Passion. And this is pretty like everyday kind of tone. I did finish it up as you can see. And these do retail for $5.60 at CVS. Really cute. I'm just not really into using lipsticks, like bullet lipsticks anymore. So yeah. So I'm not going to repurchase any of these. Like I said, I, I was thinking about buying a nude in this one just because this is... Um, no like why did i want a nude i don't know i explained it in the video um but yeah i just don't find myself wanting to repurchase any lipstick ever um yeah i say that and then somehow they always end up in my collection but i did finish three lipsticks in the sh in the months of january through april um yeah so these are it here so this next one is the maybelline it's called expert wear perfect pastels and this is a single shadow as you can see this is in the shade turquoise glass and it's broken this is one that i i bought at my 99 cent store 
years ago and i'm just i'm so not into this anymore like i found it because i was cleaning my room and i and it was like in the back of the drawer on my makeup drawer it's just something that i forget about it's a beautiful shade and i had put on my notes like uh, i was going to use it today to see if i'm going to keep it or not but you know what i'm just not going to keep it the packaging is broken i don't really reach for matte single shadows and i don't know i'm just not really into this it's not even like an everyday shade that i could just reach for it like for example if it was like a cream shade if it was a matte cream shade i probably would use it more often but it's like this bright blue i don't know why i purchased it i think because it was it was on sale it was a dollar so yeah this is just one that i'm gonna part with and yeah but i'm glad that i got to try it out i don't even think i ever used it i think i've only ever swatched it so yeah thing here is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and this is the waterproof version. This was actually when it, it was part of a Christmas gift that I received last year and like if you guys know me and waterproof mascaras we just do not get along so it was no different with this one. I just I'm not a huge fan of waterproof mascaras. I don't need it. I just never love the formula of them. I love the packaging. It's just it's adorable. It has like little water droplets on it. Um, I would say the formula is just ugh, like I don't know, super dry. I just I didn't enjoy using it. I could, it's like those weird mascaras that are dry, and then you try to put them on, you don't even feel like anything's going on your lashes. Not a huge fan of this, so not it's not something that I would purchase on my own. It was a gift, as I mentioned, and I used it, and didn't enjoy it at all. And now I'm parting with it. Yeah, I just don't like it. But this one, full size. I believe these retail for $24, but yeah, I'm, ugh, I gravitate more to the regular Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced than this one. I just don't, I just don't like waterproof stuff. Okay, next thing here is by Bliss, and this is a brand that I purchased at Big Lots, and this one I purchased it quite a long time ago. This is the Bliss Where's the Smoke Long Wear Eyeliner. I don't even know what the name is because for some reason the name was on the packaging but it's not on this like it was on the outer packaging that i threw away so it's interesting because it comes with this little sponge thing here so you could smudge out the uh, eyeliner and then the liner in here was like a brown and it was okay i i was using it when i was going to work just trying to use it up and finally it is out of here it was a nice color it was like a metallic brown shade it's cute i like the packaging not something that i would repurchase i really much rather my la colors eyeliner is only a dollar and this one i believe was like two or three dollars or something yeah i just like the packaging i just wasn't a huge fan of the formula and i don't like metallic metallic eyeliners either yeah so thankfully this is out of here now next thing here is something that i'm proud of and this is the rimmel stay matte concealer and this one was in medium as you can see <gasps> look it, it looks nasty but you can tell i i got a use out of it so like yay these retail for 5.49 and i'm so happy i finally finished it if you guys have been keeping track with my videos and watching them you know that i was using this in every video that i could i would mix this one with the fair shade and the fair shade is the one that i'm trying to use up i used it today it's just really light and i'm so happy to get this out of my collection i'm not going to repurchase any rimmel concealers i'm just i wasn't a huge fan of it i much rather i remember i used to love the shape tape and i'm kind of tempted to repurchase i am using i have one more i believe it's the cover girl concealer not a huge fan it's just too light i always choose concealers that are way too light for my under eyes um yeah if anything i would probably repurchase the what was it i think it was a maybelline concealer I'll put a picture of it on the screen. I don't remember it. But I remember the formula being great. I just don't remember the name. But I'll put it on the screen like I mentioned. But yay, I'm so proud of it. It's out of here finally. On to face wipes or makeup wipes. So this one is by Appel. This is a collagen and vitamin E cleansing tissues. And this one, I don't remember where did it, where did it come from. I don't know. I think my grandma gave it to me. But it was okay. The wipes were just really, really dry. I just don't like that. I'd rather my Neutrogena wipes, which is another one that I finished. I did finish one pack here and one pack there. So two. This one I would mostly use to clean my makeup table and like swatches. But it was just super dry. And this is actually one of my favorites. This is something that I mentioned in every single video. And these drew retail for $6.49 and this one was like a dollar or something so those are the two that i finished this month 
uh, the month of April. Next thing here is nail related and this is the LA Colors Fast Action Drip Proof Nail Glue. And this is one that I mentioned in my nail polish collection video and it was so good. I definitely used all of it up. It, it was really good. The nails were on for two weeks and this is an amazing glue. I would definitely repurchase if I can. Um, the packaging is really like bendy now because there's nothing in there. <laughs> but yeah, this is only a dollar. I really recommend it if you wear fake nails. And I do want to do a fake, um, well, a press on nail collection. Yeah. These right here, I really love these. These are by LA Colors too. Um, yeah, so this is out of here, only a dollar and really, really good. Okay, next thing is the LA Colors Color Craze Gel. It's the nail polish. Also another one that I mentioned in my nail polish collection video. And this one's in the shade Vanilla Latte. Oh my goodness. This is such a gorgeous nail color. Definitely one that I recommend if you love just like nude. Oh my god. It's just it was so perfect. But the formula changed already. I've had it for like years now. And I feel like now when I put it, when I use it on my nails, it just gets kind of bumpy and it doesn't look good. And it's just because of formula. It just kind of went bad already. So I'm going to part with this, but I'm definitely going to repurchase. I love the LA Color nail polishes. I feel like they're amazing. I have a huge collection. I'll have that link down below if you didn't watch it. But yeah, this is amazing. And like I said, I'm going to repurchase. It's just so good. And they're only a dollar. I look like randomly this sticker appeared in my on my bed like i don't even know what was it attached to something was a dollar a lot of stuff in this video is a dollar i like drugstore makeup if you know my channel like i talk about drugstore makeup a lot so let's move on next thing here is a little more random and this is a i is an eyebrow razor and this is like the like the traditional ones you always see them at the 99 cent store for a dollar this one's so old like literally the cap is disgusting and this i've just had it for so long i don't know why i just don't purchase another one but i don't know and i'm like uh yeah i need to get rid of it and so it's out of here and this was only like a dollar or something okay the next two items are by ellie colors as well and these are the lash adhesives these are little baby also some that i bought at my local big lots and they're so adorable i've mentioned these before i believe in a 10 second review video video or something but these are adorable and they were really good. I just, I got rid of a lot of lashes, okay? All the lashes that I have, they're out of my collection. I'm just not a lash wearer. So now let me ask you the question, why did I purchase more lashes and a lash glue on the Shop Miss A website? I don't know. It just happened. It happens at night when it's like 2 a.m. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Let me just cruise on this website just to see what they see what i see and then i end up with random stuff so i did purchase some lashes from the shop miss a website and i'm waiting for that and i did purchase a lash glue from them so hopefully that one works a little better this was okay i just i don't think it's like for everyday kind of like big lashes kind of thing i think these are more for like natural lashes and it was okay while i had it i just i'm not gonna use them again and there's like little teeny tiny product this is just like if you want to i guess see if you like the formula or whatever uh yeah so these are out of here i'm just not going to use them but i did order some makeup on the shop Miss a website hopefully they come in soon but i know you know everything's kind of delayed now so yeah so these are out of here i'm just not going to use them anymore like i said i got rid of all my lashes and i feel kind of dumb now but yeah the last item is really really random can we have a moment of silence for the hair clip that I've had for years and randomly decided to snap and break? Just a moment of silence. Like, it literally, I was trying to put all my hair up, and like I mentioned before, I'm gonna look like Rapunzel by the end of this virus. Like, by the time we get to leave our homes, I'm gonna be Rapunzel because my hair is so long. And my hair is so thick and like I have a lot of hair. So this poor hair clip, I was trying to put all my hair up. I couldn't handle it. So yeah, I've had it for years. I don't know where it came from. I'm sure it was like a dollar. But I can't believe that it broke. It's just one that I always use when I'm braiding my hair and stuff. So I do have another one. I have a small version like of this. But that sucks. But yeah, just wanted to mention it on here. <sighs> Yeah, 
Hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed filming this for you today. We made it to the end. Everything that I mentioned today is going to be down below all the names of the prices as well as some videos that I uploaded last week. So if you want to give those a watch, go ahead and head down there. Don't forget that I upload every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every Sunday. So if you could stick around, that would be amazing. I have my Insta handle displayed on the screen. I post a lot of makeup finds from drugstore to high end at the moment. I am doing my palette lottery. So if you're interested in that, basically I get a bunch of my palettes. I write them down. I pick a random number. Whatever number lands on it, it's like that day I have to swatch, take pictures of the palette. So you guys get a mini review on that on my page. So if that interests you, go ahead and follow me there. It's a lot of fun. And it would be so amazing if you could like and subscribe. Of course, you don't have to. You are your own person. You make your own decisions. But it wouldn't hurt. To give this video a like and i'll see you guys in the next one bye okay so why like that hair in the beginning of the video like why like i don't even feel it on my face and it, there was like this picture that i took where the hair was stuck on my lips like i didn't even feel it what's going on with that it's just annoying <laughs> So I don't blame you if you were staring at that hair the whole time in the beginning. Really annoying. My hair is so long. I need to cut it.